that measure between 0 and 90 degrees have their terminal sides in quadrant 1. The angles measuring between 90 and 180 degrees have their terminal sides in quadrant 2. Angles measuring between 180 and 270 degrees have their terminal sides in quadrant 3. And those measuring between 270 and 360 have their terminal sides in quadrant 4. Angles measuring exactly 90 180, 270, and 360 degrees do not have a terminal side that lies in a quadrant, and they are referred to as quadrantal angles. So, you can draw an angle in standard position by positioning its vertex at the region and one ray on the positive x-axis. The ray on the x-axis is called the initial side, and the other ray is called the terminal side. And an angle is then measured positive for a counterclockwise rotation and negative for a clockwise rotation. <laughs> when two angles have the same initial and terminal sides, they are said to be coterminal angles. Angles of 315 and 45 degrees are coterminal angles. Coterminal angles are angles in standard position, angles with the initial side on the positive x-axis, that have a common terminal side. For example, 30 degrees, negative 330 degrees, and 390 degrees. This, oh, this 30, negative 330, and 390 are all co-terminal. To find a positive and negative angle, co-terminal with a given angle, you can add and subtract 360 angle. <laughs> so example number one. Find a positive and a negative angle with coterminal with a 55 degree angle. So for finding the coterminal with a 55 degree angle, we we just we subtract the 55 degree angle it to 360. So the result is negative 305. So negative 305 is our first coterminal of the 55, 55 degree angle. And after that, 55 degree plus 360 degrees is equal to 415 degrees. So our second coterminal is the 415, 415 degrees. So, that's it guys. Thank you for watching!